for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you analysis and designing of g plus 6 multi story building structure by using etap software in high seismic zoning condition which is related to the zone 5 seismic condition okay so initially i will show you the model which is uh, done by the modeling process and then uh, i was applied the load cases for the building structure of multi story building so click on the etap software okay so as per the is codal provision uh, 1893 codal provision the seismic zones are classified into four types those are zone 2, zone 3, zone 4, zone 5. Okay. So the zone 5 will be comes under the critical zoning condition system. If you design the building structure in zone 5 seismic condition system, then automatically it will be safe in, in remaining zones. Okay. So that's why we will consider the zone 5 seismic condition here in this multi-story building. So this is my multi-story building model. So I was taken the grade of the concrete is M30 grade L provision and grade of the steel is 500 grade steel. Again in the same process I was taken the beam size which is comes under the 0 0.35 cross 0 0.23 and column size 0 0.46 cross 0 0.23. Okay. Now I will show you the uh, slab section thickness. Go to click on the define option section property slab section. So here I was taken the slab thickness which is approximately equal to 150 mm. Okay. So now I will show you the load cases which I was considered for this respected building. So for this building I was taken the loads which has comes under the dead loading condition, lie loading condition, seismic loading condition as well as the wind loading condition system. So I was applied the, all the load cases and uh, I need to apply the load combinations as per the uh, user defined case only. Okay. So for that go to click on the define option select the load combinations option click on default design combination so select the concrete frame design structure click on ok so that it will develop the load combinations here like this click on ok option it will add the load combinations for this building structure here like this now we have to analyze the structure for that go to analyze option check models option initially we need to check for the joint checks results click on ok so that it will check for the uh, joint check results if you have any errors then it will be showing so here in this case building model doesn't have any kind of the errors now we have to analyze the structure, go to analyze option, set load cases to run option, click on the run now option so that it will do the analysis process for the multi-story building structure. Then after that I will show you the shear force diagram, bending moment diagram and uh, torsion diagram for this respected building. Before that we need to save the model. Just I am selecting here G plus 6 building structural model which is comes under this category G plus 6. You can see after the analysis process completed the deflection diagram is showing here like this for the building structure. So now we have to uh, uh, check the shear force diagram, bending moment diagram for this respected building structure. Go to display option for that. Click on uh, forces and uh, diaphragm option. Select the spear span rail of force. Select your load case according to your consideration. Next I am selecting shear to toe option. Click on apply. So that it will display the shear force diagram. Again in the same process you can click on bending moment 3 3 click on apply. So that it will display the bending moment diagram. In the same process you can select as per your considerations of the load cases as per your considerations of the section. Okay. So now we have to uh, see the results which is comes under the uh, designing section of the beams, columns as well as the slab. So for that firstly we have to import this particular model of multi-story building structure to CSI detailing version software. So before that we need to add the strip condition system for the slab section for the uh, G plus 6 multi-story building. So initially we need to unlock the model here. Click on OK option. So after unlocking process is completed, we need to add the strip condition. Go to edit option for that. Click on edit grid strip. Add edit grid strips option. Select the story number 6 which is uh, direction is X with layer is A. Click on apply option. Again in the same process, we have to select the grid direction will be of Y direction with the strip layer is B for the opposite direction. Just I am selecting Y with the grid layer is B. Click on apply option. In the same process, we have to proceed with another a uh, story grid assignment for the respected consideration. So in the same process just I am selecting fifth story x direction with the layer is A. Click on apply option. So again in the same process we have to apply the strip condition system for the y direction case with the strip layer is B. Just I am selecting y with the strip layer is B. Click on apply option. In the same process we have to apply the grid sections for the remaining stories also. Now you can see I was applied all the grid condition system for this respected building structure. Then after that we have to click on OK option. Now we have to analyze the structure as per the considerations of the grid section for the each and every story which is of ground story, first story, second story, third story, fourth story, fifth story, sixth story. Go to analyze option for that. 
click on the set load cases to run option again click on the run now option again it will uh, do the analysis process for this respected building structure with the help of the grid consideration section now you can see here the uh, deflection diagram is showing here right, again here like this so now we have to design the beam sections column section for that go to click on the design option concrete frame design select your respected view revised preferences here select is 456 2000 code click on ok click on the design option concrete frame design so here we have to select the start designing check for the beams and column section so that it will start designing check for the respected beams and column sections as per the is 456 2000 codal provision standard now we can see it was done with designing of the frame section but in case of the frame section it is showing the red color mark for the column sections and some of the beam section due to the presence of the less amount of the dimensions for the building structure it is showing the red color mark here like this in order to reduce this respective red color mark we need to increase the dimensions of the beams and column section so for that just i am unlocking the model here click on ok option again we have to click on the define option on the top for this respected consideration section property frame section just i am selecting the beams here click on modify option just I am changing the dimensions of the beam from 0 0.35 cross uh, 0 0.235 to 0 0 0.35 cross 0 0.35 just I am selecting here as 350 cross 350 click on ok again I am selecting the column click on modify option just I am selecting the column or dimensions to 460 cross 460 here this is the 460 value click on the modify option again I am selecting the bars will be consisting of 5 numbers in this direction click on ok again click on ok option again we have to click on ok option now we have to do the uh, analysis process again click on run analysis option so that it will do the analysis process for this respected building consideration now we can see here it was done with analysis process again we have to design click on design concrete frame design so click on the preferences so click on ok option select series is 456 2000 design option concrete frame design click on start designing check option so that it will start designing check for the respected beam sections column sections uh, according to is 456 2000 codal provision standard system now we can see here all the beams and column sections is not showing any kind of the red color mark so all the beams and columns are passing the designing results according to our consideration okay so now we have to design the slab click on the design option so select the uh, slab designing section preferences initially select is 456 2000 click on ok again in the same process we have to select the number of the stories just i am selecting all the stories here click on ok option again in the same process just i am selecting the start designing check option so that it will start designing check for the respected considerations of the slab according to the is 456 2000 codal provision standard system okay then after that we can easily uh, see the results which is comes under the beam designing section column designing section slab designing section so here you can see the slab designing section results are only available for the bottom three stories okay due to the presence of the uh, respected uh, changes of the column section okay so here i am saving this respected model according to our consideration control s option click on the cancel option now we have to open the csi detailing option so firstly we have to import the model which we are already done for the respected etap software uh, multi-story building to csi detailing go to file click on new detailing option for that select the g plus 6 building model structure here so initially the model will be open in uh, etap software then after that it will be directly imported to csi detailing version software so here we have to do the some of the modifications like we have to enter the minimum cover maximum cover for the respected consideration and uh, selection of the is codal provision system for the uh, g plus 6 multi-story building structure now we can see here the model was uh, readed the results all the results which is comes under this respected section click on ok so after that we have to uh, select the detailing units according to your forces as kilonewton and you have to select this rebar weight in ton and you have to select the si codal provision click on ok option again in the same process we have to select the preferences select is 456 2000 code so we have to select the rebar rules option so here i am selecting the minimum cover value is 120 and maximum will be a 450 again in the same process i am selecting the beam which is a 120 value here again this is also 120 value here again this is also 120 value here just i am selecting here as 450 this is 450 value again this is 450 value again click on the column just i am selecting the minimum cover will be of 120 value and this respected value will be of 450 value click on ok option again click on ok option okay so that it will do the detailing process designing process for the respected beams and column sections as well as the slab just i am selecting the second floor slab select the framing plan this is the framing plan this is the rebar plan this is the top rebar plan and this is the bottom rebar plan so directly click on the rebar kg option so that it will see the 
our reinforcement values for the respective slab again i am selecting the beam detailing concrete beams select the elevation section select any one of the floor select any one of the beam here just i am selecting section a here now we can see for this respective section of 350 cross 350 it is required three bars of 18 mm diameter at the top and two bars of 60 mm at the uh, 60 mm diameter at the bottom again this is a b section this is a c section again i am selecting rebar kg option for the respective beam now you can see this is the complete reinforcement diagram for the respected beam section consideration in the same process we have to see the results which is comes under the column just i am selecting the elevation directly cc1 directly just i am selecting here now you can see this is the column reinforcement de designing results at section a section b section c directly select the rebar kg option so that it will display the rebar kg for the respected considerations as per is 456 2000 codal provision this is the column reinforcement details for the respected consideration okay so this is the complete process of analysis and designing of g plus 6 multi-story building by using etap software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you